You ever traveled to a new location and did a thing called people watching? It may be a guilty pleasure. You don't want other people noticing that you're watching them. But you're sitting on the bench. All these different people are walking by. Every now and then you're thinking, what's this person's story? Why is this person rushing so much? Why is this person walking so slow? Why is this person wearing such a heavy looking dress when it's so hot outside? This is people watching. Well, a remix to that is reading people's minds. Now wait, before you turn this class off, let me explain where the origins of uh, this game comes from. Nikola Tesla was a famous electrical engineer and during his time was known as one of the brightest minds out there in his field. One of the reasons that he was such a creative thinker was because when he was growing up, his parents would randomly give him these unorthodox games. And one of the games was for Nikola Tesla to try to read other people's thoughts. At first, he, I mean, like, he couldn't logically prove if he was reading their thoughts correctly, but that didn't matter. The simple act of trying to read their thoughts allowed him to become hyper aware regarding small little things, whether it was a change in facial expressions, whether it was their tonality, whether it was them looking a certain way. And he was getting these ideas, which would eventually help him improve in his craft of electrical engineering. So this a game is pretty much stemmed from Nikola Tesla's uh, childhood. So try it out for yourself. It could be with a stranger or someone that you know uh, very well, and just get in the habit of trying to read their thoughts. And in that process, as you're thinking about uh, what they're thinking about, and then you're articulating it, is when suddenly you become hyper astute and you get better at noticing the tiny little things.